Public Service using his life experience as an inspiration. Assisting a constituent uh, institution with such a project is not a violation in and of itself, but there are proper procedures to be followed if you're going to raise money for a local college. He openly assisted the institution, clearly with no intent to do anything proper, but he did unfortunately violate the rules by not following proper procedures. Now, once the determination was made that he used official resources to help the local college, that one mistake has been converted into almost eight different counts. One, he used the letterhead. Two, he used the staff. Three, he used office equipment. He used Frank Mail, all from the fact that he cannot use official resources. That was a mistake for which he should be punished. The question is, what should the punishment be for messing up and raising money improperly. Well, we have the case of former Speaker Newt Gingrich, who was found to have violated House rules by misusing tax-exempt entities to fund a partisan college course aimed at recruiting new members to the Republican Party after he had been warned not to. Moreover, he was found to have filed four false reports to the committee about the matter in 13 instances, causing substantial delays and expense to the committee. Yet he was reprimanded, not censured, and did not lose his job as Speaker. Congressman Rangel did not lie about his activities. He gained no partisan advantage. He believed that he was doing right, although he made mistakes, and he received no prior warning, as did Speaker Gingrich. Yet Congressman Rangel lost his chairmanship on Ways and Means and now faces the possibility of a censure, not a reprimand, as Speaker Gingrich received. 